What up, YouTube? We got a February 7th through February 12th edition of Motown Mail. Why am I wearing an OSU hat? I'm not even a Buckeye fan. I happen to have a hat, though. It doesn't fit my abnormally large head, the one size fits all. That uh, does not hold true to everybody. Anyway. Sorry about that. Um, rare in-person graphing experience today. I uh, took the hour trip up to Madison, Wisconsin. OSU is playing uh, the Wisconsin Badgers. The game actually just got over. Uh, Badgers have lost their first game of the year, 24-1 and one now. And they're going to lose that number one ranking. <clears throat> um, but Ohio State has the top player in the nation and the possible number one draft pick in this upcoming uh, NBA draft, Jared Sullinger. I decided to go up there and get some autographs with Princess Nini. She helped me out a little bit. And I got this nice ball. How do you like that? Let me... Uh, Make sure you can see it. So it turned out uh, pretty snazzy. Nice Jared Sullinger uh, single sign basketball. I can't find a paint pen though, and uh, it's kind of bugging me. Um, let's see. And then I got two um, eight by tens. None of these are for sale for trade, so please don't ask. I'm sorry. I'm keeping these. I'm gonna let them marinate for a while. <laughs> Uh, Jared Sollinger, two 8x10s. This one turned out pretty sweet, considering it has like a spot for an autograph, pretty much. Really like how that uh, that one turned out. Um, and then I got this one right here. This one turned out excellent as well. Signed in silver. Cool dude. He's pretty quiet. Um, yo, what up, NIU Alumni Magazine? Um, and then I was able to get a floorboard signed by Mr. Sollinger as well. So I ended up getting uh, four autographs from Jared Sollinger. Pretty happy with that. Possible, probable number one draft pick. Averaging a double-double, like 19 and 10, I think. I was able to get Aaron Kraft on a floorboard. He's a point guard. And then probable late first-round pick in the NBA draft, William Buford. So I did pretty well. Um, really happy about the Sollingers. And I got a picture with me and him, and then uh, Princess Nini took a picture of me getting autographs from him. So I'll put those at the... Uh, actually, I'll just put them up now. Um, moving on to the mail. Again, those are not for sale or for trade, so please don't bother. <laughs> um, Mojo Break. MojoBreak.com. I was in their free group break at the Nationals. Good team to have, especially considering they have Strasburg and Harper, but unfortunately, Donruss Elite Expedition does not have either. Uh, but I did get a nice hit. The best uh, autograph you can get from the Nationals in that product, AJ Cole. Uh, he's touted as the number four prospect in the organization. I believe he's the top pitching prospect, considering Strasburg's not a prospect anymore. Um, but uh, AJ Cole is supposed to be a good one. It's number 819. So, happy with that. Again, go check out Mojo Break, um, their YouTube channel, as well as their website, mojobreak.com. Um, three eBay pickups, and that's it. Uh, this one's really nice. I've been wanting one of his autographs for a while now. It is none other than Jim Brown. This is from 2004 Playoff. Prime Signatures Proof, number 200. Nice looking autograph right there from Mr. Jim Brown. Again, that is number 14 of 100. So very happy to have a Jim Brown auto in my collection. Uh, next, I think I got this at a good price. That's why I bought it. It's from 2007, 2008, Upper Deck Black Basketball. On-card auto of Pat Riley. I'm not really a big Pat Riley fan, but I got that for 13 shipped. So I thought that was a pretty, pretty good deal for an autograph of uh, Pat Riley, especially from an Upper Deck Black product. So, very nice autograph right there. Again, that is, oh, I'm sorry, that is number 31 of 50. So. And finally, I got this for like five bucks shipped. Uh, unfortunately, passed away about a year ago. Uh, 1969 AL Cy Young Award winner. And is one of the four pitchers uh, to win uh, 20 games for the Orioles in one season. No, no, than Mike Cuellar. Mike, Mike Cuellar, can't even talk. Um... 2005 uh, Tops retired, I think it was. These were originally encased in uncirculated condition, but the seller said the uh, the case is so damaged and beat up that he took it out uh, and sold it like this, which I actually I would have probably busted it out too. So pretty nice autograph right there from Mike Cuellar. So that is it, guys. Uh, again, very happy with the Solinger pickups.
hopefully he'll be good. and that's all i got for now. i want to thank everyone for watching and as always stay safe.